Yes, yeah, so today we are going to be looking at the tips, the tips that you need in order to get high score in jam. The tips that you need in order to do what? Get high scores in jam. So I would like you to pay attention to this. Listen very, very attentively. Listen to all that I have to tell you and you will start working on them before the jam exams. Number one is that I hope all of you know that we we'll have a website in this school known as www.jamwaegnecouni.com. How many people know that we have this website? You can key it into your phone www.jamwaegnecouni.com. Once you key it into your phone or your computer in your house, you see our other website. When this website opens, you will see something by the side. If you are using a computer, you will see our online school. You see our what? Online school, where you have subjects like English, Mathematics, Biology, so, 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 all the subjects that you need. You just click on any of the subjects, you start learning. You have all our lectures are online. <coughs> well taught exactly the way it is done here in tclass5.com. If you are using a phone to go to www.jamwaiknekouni.com, you will not see the online school the way it is like this. You will first of all see the blog post, then you continue scrolling down, at the last part of the site, that's when you see the online school. You click on any of the subjects, you have full lectures, just as we have it here in Classified. That is number one. So it will be good you write this website in your notes. Write the name, www.jamwaetnecoyuni.com. The website is not just for your jam. You can use it for any other exams that you might be taking in future. Then when you get uh, admission into the university, you're also going to be using the website because there are different sections on the website. There's a section that says home. When you open it now, you see home. You see about us. Then you are going to see submit your assignment. So when you enter university, they are going to be giving you some assignments in your year one, year two. Anyone that you cannot solve, you can click on that, submit your assignment, and send it to us. There is a space for email, and there is a space for the name and the assignment type that you have. So when you send it to us, we are going to look at it and see a way that we can help you in solving the assignment, a way that we can help you lay hands on the material that can help you. Then we'll send it back to your email, then you get it, then you can work on it before submitting to make it look the way you want or to see whether it actually addresses the need that you have. If it doesn't address the need that you have, you can send it back, submit your assignment. It's a menu on Jamboyek Nekoyu. And the lesson that we are giving on O-level courses are just for now because we'll be uploading lectures on what you also learn in the university. So you can be learning a lot from the website. The website will help you do a lot of things. That is number one. Number two, there is a group we have on WhatsApp. I hope most of you are members of the group. Jam, Wired, Neko, Uni. This is a group we have on WhatsApp. It is the duty of this uh, group to help circulate information, useful information that will be good for everybody. So make sure that you are among this group. If you are not, you can have my number so that you can text me a message with your number so that I can add you up. Can add you up. There will be many useful information that will be going across during the jam so that you have the enough information for yourself in order to do the right thing. So this is my phone number. You can have it on your phone. Text me a message or do me WhatsApp to add you up to this group. So that is number two. Then number three is how you are going to be approaching the questions in the hall. How you are going to be doing what? 
approaching the questions for them. How do you do it? Everybody know that we are going to be writing four four subjects, is it not? Four four subjects. Number one is what and very compulsory is what? English. So some people may be having government, isn't it? Biology and what? Mathematics. So when you open, when you get to the hall, when you're going to write your jam, after filling in your jam registration number, your own portal opens for your for you to start answering your your jam. So you're supposed to have four subjects, isn't it? And it's most likely that the first subject that comes out is English language. Is it not? English language. And maybe after English you say maths or you start saying other subjects. It is not compulsory or mandatory that you must start with English. Is that clear? It is not compulsory or mandatory that you must start with English. If you find out that English is a little bit more difficult for you than other courses, like those people that are doing law, they find out that government is the easiest. You understand? <coughs> they can approach government and answer them first. So what you need to do is to click on government, isn't it? This is exactly how it will open for you in the exam hall, is it not? So you have English, you have chemistry, you have other ones. You understand? So if it opens like this, you can select any of the courses that you want first. Answer it first before you get back to English. Is that clear? So you can actually pick any of the subjects that you find out that it will be easier for you. Then, let's say you open biology. For those people that are doing uh, medicine, they find biology easier, is it not? You open biology, you find out that the first questions, question number one, two, three, are a little bit difficult. You understand? You can start from the bottom. Can you see it? You see, this is a chemistry question, isn't it? So instead of starting from number one, you can just move your mouse and click on 47, 48, or 50. You understand? As the case may be, though you know that uh, the recent information getting to us is that English had how many questions in the month that you did? 60. 60. So apart from English, the various courses had how many questions? 40. 40. 40. So this is the new arrangement by JAM now, which I think that's what they are going to be putting in the real exam. English is how many? 60. Then the other subjects is uh, our 40. 40. So I'm saying that instead of starting from number one, if you're answering biology, you can go to number 40. You understand? Make sure that you maximize your time. The little time that you have, use it and answer the ones that you know. Like I told you, jump scores are based on aggregate. Is that not what I said? Aggregate. Even if you score uh, two in English, and you're able to get 100, in, in government, 100 in biology and 100 in math. Your total score will be what? 302. And this will give you any course in the university. You understand? They are not going to ask you, why did you score 2 in English? Or why did you score 1 in mathematics? So that's why you should push your energy and your time to the courses that you know that you're used to, the ones that are easier for you. You understand? And when you get to those courses, you mustn't start from number 1 can start from number 40 and you start coming up in order for you to use your time very well. Yes. On Friday, we are going to be having our exercise just like we did last Monday, which you know that after the exercise, you will reward the people that get the highest score, isn't it? We gave out 1,000 last week uh, on Monday. This weekend, we are giving out more for the people that will get highest. And the way we do is that we will group us into two, two isn't it? The, the one we are going to be doing on Friday will be from uh, 2010 upwards. We'll pick any year. So make sure that you're working on the years 2010 to 2015. We, we've done 2016, isn't it? So we'll do either 2010, 2011, 2012, any of them to 2015. And it will be the same for everybody. So take out time, get yourself accustomed to what is there.
Then another important issue is the time you get to the hall, the time you get to your venue, to your venue of the examination. I said before, anywhere you're writing, make sure you get there one hour before time. Was it not what I said? One hour before time. When you get there one hour before time, you study envir the environment. Some people will be complaining, this uh, computer, this side are not working well. So if you don't come in time, you will not know the computer, the side, the computer is not working well. You might go and go, you may go and find yourself there. So when you start answering your own, it will start giving you issues. So to prevent that, make sure you get to the hall one hour before time, get to the places where the computers are good. Then if you're using any computer and you find out that the computer is not responding very well, it is your duty to what? Let the hall management know. So that they will get you either a nice system or they will put up the system to work very well for you. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. I will say that we are going to continue our lessons even after the jam uh, classes. We are having computer training and we are having other training for other uh, exams. So we keep up with the website. We also have YouTube page which I will be giving you through the WhatsApp group so that you can easily click on it and it will lead you to our YouTube page for the lectures. And that brings us to another thing, English language. So we are going to be looking at English language today. We will be looking at English language today. So we are going to be looking at some topics in English language for jam some topics in English language for jam. First of all, we are going to be looking at comprehension. We are going to also look at uh, some of things in emphatic stress. Comprehension. All of us are in this class when we did comprehension, isn't it? <coughs> isn't it? Please, get me the cover of this. I don't know where I'm from. Yeah, you are here when we did comprehension. Who can tell me what comprehension is? We say that because of the exam being reduced to 60 questions, it's like we're having only how many passages? How many? One passage, huh? Before we used to have up to three passages in jam, isn't it? So it's like this year we're gonna be having one. So when we are teaching uh, English, I told us that it is not important that you must start with the comprehensions. Is that clear? Yeah. When you open up your English language, you can go and start from the point where we have vowels and consonants. Is that clear? Vowels, consonants, emphatic stress, concord, rules of concord. Have we learned all those things in this class? Have we done them? We've done all of them. Consonants, vowels, rules of concord, uh, comprehension, how to tackle comprehension questions. And that's why I say you must get to our website. All these lectures are there, all of them. On Facebook, before you go today, make sure you log into your Facebook and like our page, Jam White Neko Uni. We are posting all the lectures on the Facebook every day. So you can see lectures on vowels, consonants, comprehension, all of them, we've done all of them. You know we started this lesson since last year. So all the people that started last year with us, they must have covered all these. And if you missed it, the easier way to do it is by getting to our website and learning from there because all the lectures are there. Another easier way of doing it is that making sure that you log into your Facebook and like our Facebook page, Jam Quiet Neko Uni. It's also on Facebook. If you like the page, you're going to be seeing our lecture, Jam Quiet Neko Uni. Once you get to Facebook, just type in inside, inside the search bar. You know the search bar of Facebook, Jam White Neko Uni. You see the page will come and like it. Once you like it, like today, all our lectures will also put it there. Most of them will be seen there. So if you have gone through all those lectures, you'll be conversant with comprehension and emphatic stress. I will say that comprehension simply means the ability to understand something. It is understanding and interpretation of what is read. You understand? Whenever you read something and you're able to interpret or answer questions that are following, 
then you have a little bit doing what? Comprehension. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah. And we say that there are various sources of comprehension passages. And this could be original or what? Purity, original or what? What are the two sources of passages for comprehension? Original or adaptation. Is that clear? So the passage they are giving you in jump comprehension is either that is original, the, the examiner is thinking from his head and writing it, or it is adapted from a book or an article that somebody has already written before. Is that clear? So those are the two ways that Jam can bring the comprehension passage that they are giving you. Is that clear? It's either they are, they are going inside one of the novels, articles, dailies, and bringing something, or they are writing it from their head. Is that clear? So those are the two sources of what? Comprehension passage. Sources of comprehension passages. So I say that it could be what? Original. When is it original? When somebody is writing from his head. Maybe based on what is happening in the country, based on the fight against corruption, based on a, a religious crisis or stuff. That is original. Then the number two is what we call what? Adaptation. When you're writing from an article that somebody has already written before. That is it. Now we looked at how to read a passage. We looked at what? How to read a comprehension passage. How to do what? Read a comprehension passage. So what are the two ways we looked at? Skimming, isn't it? Skimming. And we also looked at what? Scanning. These two ways, you don't need to read in details, you understand? When you want to read in your house, you settle down and read. That is called detailed reading. But when you're skimming, you're looking for points, isn't it? Like the way you go through a newspaper. When you're scanning, you spend more time to look at it. Isn't it? So you can use any of those ways to look at it. Then, we looked at theories to simplify a difficult comprehension. Theories to do what? Theories to simplify a difficult comprehension. When you have a difficult comprehension, how do you go about handling it? And we set out at three theories. Number one is what we call the chemistry theory. Number two, the psychoanalytic theory. And number three is the what? What's number three? Cause and effect theory. Then in looking at chemistry theory, we said that we are going to observe things like the subject matter, the theme, the lexical item. Do you know what we did? The lexical item. So we are supposed to understand all those things. And like we said before, all those things are very well explained in our website, Jam Quiet Now we are going to look at the procedure to handle comprehension in examination. What are the things we need to do wherever we see comprehension in the examination? What is the procedure to answering comprehension in the examination? Number one, we say that read all the questions under the passage. Is that not what we said? Once you open your comprehension, make sure you read all the questions. When you read the questions, it gives you the insight on what you are expected to understand from the passage. So that when you are reading the passage, it will be more effective. You'll be picking out the points as you're reading it. So first of all, read all the questions under a passage. Number two, read the passage for the first time. Identifying the elements such as the subject matter, and I've told us what subject matter is, the theme, the difficult words, and the extra grammatical items. Once you've done it, once you've done this, read the questions again. You read the questions again. And when you, after reading the question again, assemble all your answers. So that is the way you approach comprehension. Read the questions first. Get back to the passage and read it. Identify the subject matter, the theme, and every necessary thing you need. 
then read the question again and assemble your answers that is the approach that is the approach so make sure you use this approach and try some comprehension questions today then secondly we say we are going to be looking at what emphatic stress you can tell me what we discussed about emphatic stress what did we talk about emphatic stress can you get me an emphatic stress question from the test trailer uh, what's his name uh, Israel get me one emphatic stress question in the text trailer we say that in any emphatic stress question we should be looking at the stress word we should be looking at the what stress word let's say we have this Ada walked to school today everybody look up to the board this is the question and the options are Ada walked to the school today the options are Ada walked to school yesterday and we have Obi walked to school today and we have uh, Ada ran to school today and finally D we have Ada walked to market today can you give me the answer what's the answer mm. A simply A is everybody paying attention yeah. pay attention so that you understand this in case if you don't know it before emphatic stress Whenever you want to solve an emphatic stress question, is that clear? Are you paying attention? Look at the given question. Can you see the given question? Can you see it? The given question simply says, Ada walked to school today. In this given question, which of the words is stressed? Today. Which one? Yes. Today, because it is written in what? It is written in what? Yes. Capital letter. You look at the one that is written in capital letter. You understand? Now, you check through the options. In any of the options where you have the stress word change, that is the answer. Is that clear? In any of the options where you see the stress word change, that is the word answer. Is that clear? So which of these options have the stress word today change? Which of them? Huh? A, because today is changed to what? Yes. Yesterday. Now, I'm going to be asking us one by one now. I've taught it. So I'll ask you, if you don't get it, you'll be in trouble. So, let's say we have this as the question. Israel, what's the answer for this? D. Huh? D. D. Yes. D. Yes. Class, is it D? Yes. Why is it D? Because school, because school is changed to what? Market. market. Good. Now, I'm going to change this to what is this supposed to be the question uh, uh what's the name not you yeah it has it has what would be the answer c c c you see the answer class yes why is c the answer because, because what which is the stress word has been changed to what run Yeah, if this was to be the question, what's the name? Our, our what would be the answer? Huh? B. B, good, B, because Ada, the stress word, have been changed to what? Or B. Can you see the technique? Is it clear? Yes. So I'm, I'm going to ask you to go through your text trailers, open up your English, get all the emphatic stress questions and answer them. Thank you very much. The play has stopped.